Erin here at Berkshire Humane Society with your pro tip of the day. The great thing about our pets is their ability to be empathic. Unfortunately, with that comes the bad. So during the stressful time that we're all feeling, try to remember that they're feeling it too. Cats, for instance, are changing their routines daily because we're changing ours. The average cat normally sleeps 18 hours a day, but if we're home all day, it's throwing their cycles off. They might become more active because we're there to engage with, or they might become stressed out because they don't feel like they can get the rest that they need. So a couple things you can do to help. Have a quiet, safe place for them to rest when they can get away from everything. Offer them a play session or a snuggle session early in the morning and in the evening when they're used to you being home and active. And don't forget, a relaxing break is good for both of you. Saffron here is available for adoption. She came in with her babies and they've all been adopted, so she's waiting to find her perfect home. If you're interested, give us a call, 447-7878, extension 124. Welcome back. My name is Cheryl and we're going to talk a little bit, well let's talk about Ozzy first because he's a, one of our dogs here at the shelter. He's about a year, he's in a mixed breed of some sort, very athletic, probably would love to have somebody who's a runner, uh, but super, super sweet dog, does love all other dogs. I'm not sure if we cat tested him yet, right? But he's a super love bug and his name is Ozzy. Um, but let's just talk a little bit about um, the craziness that's happening right now in our world. And now that your dogs and your cats are used to your animals being, uh, being home all day, and now when we get back to reality and normalcy, now your animals are like, oh my God, you're leaving me. And then separation anxiety could happen later on. So what you wanna do is still leave your pet at home so it's getting used to being left there while you go either just to the quick grocery store to go get gas. Normally, maybe you would take it for a ride, but this time don't leave it home. So that way it will get um, used to being alone when you do go end up going back to work and to school. Um, separation anxiety is a very, very hard thing in dogs because um, it's called I love you too much. And what ends up happening is they start destroying the house. So it's really important that if your dog is used to going into a crate, um, put it in there even while you guys are home. If your dog is used to being locked into one room while you go to work and you give them a cookie to chew on or a toy to chew on, still do that even though you may not have left the house, but let your dog think that you did leave the house. Um, same thing with your cats. It's really important that they get used to uh, you leaving and getting back to some normalcy because we don't want anybody to have any problems when we go back to work and school and now your dog is having some separation anxiety because you guys now have changed and have now leaving them for seven to eight hours a day. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna to talk about some interactive toys that you guys can give your pets while you're not there.